Thank you angels for tuning in. I'm Amy Cicada and today we're going to be going really deep into the lungs, right? Lungs, heart, can't separate them. So we're going to be working with opening up our heart chakra and also opening up the meridians, the energy meridians um, that are connected to our lungs. So this is going to be a combination of Kundalini Yoga, Hatha Yoga and Qigong. So um, just follow along best you can in the practice. Take your time. Each of these exercises I'm doing for about a minute just to get you familiar with them. But you can do this video on your own and extend each exercise for up to three or five minutes if you want. Um, other thing I would recommend if you are feeling, um, you know, weak in your, in your lungs, you know, for whatever reason, you know, whether you're asthmatic or... Um, you're just getting over a cold or you know whatever it is um, stay off the dairy stay off the inflammatory foods like eggs and red meat doesn't have to be forever but until you know your lungs are feeling better um, definitely if you are asthmatic I recommend um, having a dairy-free diet I eat meat every once in a while but I am definitely dairy-free and I'm asthmatic I've had asthma since I was five and getting off the dairy really helped me um, another thing when you're doing these exercises really try to think of emotionally what you're trying to clear because our lungs we hold on to a lot of resentment and pain um heartache is very connected you know so at these times especially with covid you want your lungs really healthy you can't be holding on to things so you've got to be you know going through these exercises thinking about what you want to let go um yeah so that's it let's just get right into it and um yeah i'm excited to practice with you guys Let's begin in a seated position, sitting tall, bringing energy into our heart, into our lungs, breathing through the nose, inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. Keep repeating, inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhaling, shoulders up, exhaling, shoulders down. Keep the spine nice and long. Palms just relaxed on our knees. Find a nice rhythm, not too fast, not too slow. Just comfortable. Squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Just release the tension when the shoulders come down. Just relax it all. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Breathing through the nose, inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. And release. Come back to your normal breath. Let's just warm up the spine. Inhaling as I arch, exhaling as I round my back. So I'm holding onto my shins with my palms and using the leverage and sink back. So rounding and arching, rounding and arching on your own pace. You don't have to follow my speed. You follow the pace of your breath, what feels good for you. Inhaling, arch up, exhale, rock back. The more exaggerated you can make these rocks, the better. That's why I recommend holding on to the front of the shin so you could really rock back and really round your spine. You can speed up the pace if you feel. Keep it nice and slow and take your time. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up now. Now that my spine feels nice and warm, back and front, back and back and front. It's almost like a massage for the tailbone as well. Just get that kundalini rising, moving, sending the energy up the spine, into the heart, into the lungs. Really focusing on that chest area, opening it up.
Good. And your breath back to normal. So interlacing the fingers in front of the heart. The inhaling the hands up, exhaling the hands down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So we're trying to move all the way through the chakras from the crown chakra, root chakra. It's clearing the energy. This also works with meridians. So we're inhaling hands up, exhaling hands down. Find your own pace. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Nice and steady. Making sure to inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. So when we're breathing, let's try to breathe through our diaphragm, or our lower lungs, so you don't want to raise the chest. You want to keep the chest relaxed. If you're not exactly sure how to breathe from the diaphragm, go ahead and think about expanding your ribcage and contracting your ribcage. Expanding your ribcage and contracting your ribcage. In and up, in and up, nice and even. Inhale, hold the hands up, keeping the fingers interlaced. Hold the breath. Hold, hold, hold. And exhale, slowly release the hands down, release the arms down. 90 degrees, palms up, making fist. Inhaling as we open the palms up, exhaling as we hit our chest with our fists, right? Not too violent now, but just enough to move and stimulate the energy in the lung and heart area. So when we open up those hands, our palms are facing front and slowly rotating towards the sky, opening up our chest and coming back with a little bit of an accent, right? So we're opening up slow and coming back in to hit the chest with a little bit of an accent, a little bit fast, right? So inhaling open, exhale hit. Inhaling open, exhale hit. Go at your pace, don't rush it. And again, breathing from the diaphragm, feeling the rib cage open, and contract. Keeping the upper lungs nice and soft, no tension. Breathing through the nose, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Inhale, hold open, hold it, hold it, hold it. Palms are up to the sky, working that lung meridian, and release the arms down. Take a couple normal breaths here, just breathing normally. Moving right along, move the hands in front of the chest, making fists, circling outwards. Circle, 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 moving the energy, right? We're breaking up all that stagnant energy in the lungs. You can breathe through your nose here, in and out, just nice, normal breath. It doesn't have to be deep. Just focus more on the exercise, right? So right in front of the heart, right in front of the lung area, moving that energy. Keep those elbows up, spine nice and tall. Here's your time. Really focus on what you want to move. What's stagnant? What's in there? What do you need to let go? Is there any resentment? You need to forgive someone. Keep the pace nice and steady. Go, go, go. I know the shoulders can burn a little bit. It's normal. Keep going. Focus more on the energy that you're moving. Don't focus on the sting in the muscles. Focus on the energy. Almost there. 
Move, move, move it. Pulling it up and releasing it, right? We're rolling away from the body, away from the chest. Almost there, sit nice and tall. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Roll, 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 roll the fist out and release the hands down. Deep breath in, exhale. Just observe the energy in the lungs. Try to break up that stagnant energy, that stagnant chi. Inhale, bringing the arms back up. So this time we're gonna be moving in and out in front of the heart space. So we have the elbows bent and we're inhaling, opening, exhale as we close. So again, we're inhaling a little bit slow, exhaling with force, right? If you'd like to add a mantra here, you can add a heart for every time you close the palms. It helps really move the energy. Say it inside of your head. You don't have to say it out loud, right? Har, 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 har. If you don't want to say the mantra, that's fine too. Just focus on breathing. Inhaling the hands open, exhaling the palms closed. So we're really bringing those palms together right in front of the chest, right? We're moving that energy, that stagnant energy in front of the heart. It's a very heart opening, clearing exercise. Inhale, open the hands up, hold, retain that breath. Exhale, release the hands down, breathe normally. You just moved a lot of energy, observe. Feel, breathe, sticking the tongue out, inhale and exhale through the mouth, tongue out. Nice and slow, making sure to fill up those lower lungs, right? Taking deep diaphragm breaths. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, contract the rib cage. And let's release onto our knees, come to a tabletop position. Get nice and comfortable on a tabletop. Inhale, arch the back, head up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. Just moving nice and slow, making sure that your shoulders are aligned right over your wrist. 
knees should be hip distance apart. Sinking the movement with the breath. At your own pace, don't rush. Advancing into the second variation, lower your body down, bending the elbows, arching even more. And as you exhale, bring the weight to the tops of the feet, lifting the knees off the ground slightly. Exhaling as you round, inhaling as you arch. Breath stays the same. Good, and release down, child's pose. Take the knees a little wide here so the body can release, relax. Slowly pulling yourself up. Let's come into an Ostrasana. Ostrasana can be done with the toes tucked under or if you're more flexible and you only feel it for the tops of the feet on the mat, you can also do that variation. So I'm grabbing onto my ankles. Ostrasana or camel pose. Opening up the heart, opening up those meridians to the lungs. And exhale, release down. Again, tuck those toes under, grab onto the ankles and press the hips up. Really feel your hips leaning forwards. Extending to the back of the neck. Don't cringe the back of the neck, right? The neck is an extension of the spine. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, nice and steady. Don't rush. Come into a child's pose. Shift forward into a lion's pose. <sighs> Exhale, tongue out. Let's roll those shoulders, right? Roll them back. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. You can roll front and back. Slight bend in the elbows. And send the hips back, child's pose again. Coming back to Starasana, tuck the toes under. Reach back for the ankles and press the hips up. Inhale and exhale. Trying to breathe through the nose. If it's difficult to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, at least breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And releasing Ustrasana, coming forward to child's pose. Slowly rolling forward, lion. <sighs> Exhale, tongue out, rolling the shoulders. And roll the shoulders the opposite way. If you want, you can release the body down and up. If you want that little extra push up, release the hips back, child's pose. Ustrasana one more time, pressing the hips up and forward, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, stretching even deeper this time. And release the hips back, cross the ankles, and come to a seated position. Let's extend the legs out, facing the fingertips forward. Slowly bring the knees up, and we'll press the hips up, reverse tabletop. Making sure to squeeze those inner thighs. Don't allow the knees to splay out, right? The knees want to be facing forward. Fingers are facing forward. And release the hips down.
straighten the legs out. Deep inhale, exhale, fold forwards. If you want to do a yogi toe lock here and grab onto your big toe with your peace fingers, you can do that for a little leverage. It's one of my favorite variations. And again, it's not about putting your head all the way down to your legs. It's more about extending through that spine. Let's go ahead and take another one. So you can either do it with bent legs, like the first variation we did, or you can do it with straight legs, like I'm doing here. If you're doing it with straight legs, try to get those toes all the way down to the floor, right? Press those hips up, press them up, press them up, press them up. Fingertips are still facing forward. Lift the heart up and release the hips down. Flex the toes back, deep inhale, exhale, fold forwards. Yogi toe lock, use your arms as leverage. Straighten the spine, inhale, and exhale halfway down. Slowly release. Let's do one more. Bent knees or straight knees, whichever variation you want. Squeeze those inner thighs. Keep those knees pointing forward. Nice steady breath through the nose. And release the hips down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale halfway up, exhale, fold all the way down. And slowly release. Coming back to a cross-legged position. Crawl the arms forward, slowly releasing the hips. Lion. <sighs> exhale, tongue out. And release the hips back, child's pose. Slowly rolling up, staying on our knees, taking the arms to the shoulders, try to get those elbows up 90 degrees, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and just shift right to left. Find some momentum, right, your own pace, just moving that kundalini up your spine, moving that energy up into the lungs. Try to keep those elbows up. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Find your own pace. Find a little swing, right? Keep it nice and steady. Don't lose that swing, all right? Inhale, come back to center. Send the palms up to the sky. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Send the energy up through the fingertips. Sending the energy through your spine. And exhale, release down. Release the arms down. And bring the palms to the heart. Just resting the palms on your heart. Take a moment. Just breathe and feel that energy pumping and moving through your lungs. Use that energy to clear anything stagnant. Making fists. Start to slightly tap, right? Not too hard. You'll feel it intuitively. Beating onto the lungs, right? We're loosening up those muscles, moving any stagnant energy. Tap, 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 tap. Do both fists at the same time. Or right and left, right and left, right and left. Let's shake the energy, clear that energy off, rubbing it downwards from the top of the head all the way down the arms, the body. Deep inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, move the energy down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, move the energy down. Inhale, palms up over the head. Exhale, release down. 
Last one, inhale, hands up. Bring your hands to prayer. Thank you for this practice. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Thank you to this mat for providing the sacred space for me to heal my body. And thank you guys for practicing with me today.